I want to fly you and Britt out to a private island tomorrow to compete with a ton of YouTubers for $25,000. If you say yes, bro, I need you on a plane tomorrow morning. Now you're probably thinking, would you drop everything you were doing and go to a deserted island and try to win $25,000? The logical answer was yes. So here I am on a boat surrounded by YouTubers going to a private island for a chance to win $25,000. But before we get into that, pick a straw, the shortest one. And just like that, I had survived the first challenge. He's coming fast, actually. He might catch up. Everyone that lost was sent to an even smaller deserted island called the Nut. Yeah. It looked nothing like a nut. But for the rest of us who won, we were now going to the island that we were gonna survive on. Creators, the cash prize is $25,000. The last one of you guys on this island gets it. Whoa! How'd you get it here? Big briefcase. <laughs> and just like that, the challenge had begun. This is crazy. Yeah, this is not even over. Tonight, you're going to be sleeping on this island. So the next challenge is to build a shelter. The worst shelter is going to get eliminated. Now at this moment I was thinking, I can do this. The only problem was I had no idea how much time I would have. And I'm also not telling you how much time you have. You could have 10 minutes or 10 hours. So time started. Now while everyone was freaking out and grabbing supplies, it immediately clicked in my brain that I watched Survivor every single day in high school. So I knew exactly how I wanted to make the perfect shelter. They actually have two hours to build these shelters, but I'm not telling you how much time they have. So I was sprinting to get as many supplies as I could before it was all gone. Run faster! Funny how everyone's like in a complete panic. <laughs> oh, look at her. Then after my shelter was pretty much done, I decided I'd be a good boyfriend and help Britt finish her shelter. No! Uh, the one time you touch it! But being the good boyfriend I am, we rebuilt her structure to be even better than it was before. I don't think that's true. Drew's fort looks insane. Yo, yours looks insane. I gotta try this out. Dude, this is actually a bot. Other than this wasp nest right here. Wait, what? <laughs> you might want to fix the wasp nest. Oh my god, there's one in it. It's the size of my thumb staring me straight in the face. Who do you think is gonna win this? I got my money on Drew. Honestly? I'm just gonna be one with it. Time's up! We got Drew. Did you fix the wasp nest? Oh uh, no, I actually just became friends with him. I'm gonna have to be a man. I'll take a 10. Let's go. Turned out all those years of watching Survivor paid off. So yeah, Survivor, please bring me on the show. I wanna go ahead and say that our highest score was Drew. So the people going to the deserted island, Gabe and Lizzie. And now I was another step closer to winning the $25,000. Creators, next challenge is pretty simple. I'm a little hungry right now. So the first person to bring me a pizza gets to vote someone off. Now getting a pizza might sound pretty easy. It has to be a cooked pizza! Except we were literally stranded on a deserted island. We had to take a 30 minute boat ride all the way to the mainland, and the second we got there, the challenge began. I'm gonna call Papa Jones. Come on. Oh yeah, can I get a, uh, just like the quickest pizza that you can make? For pickup. Actually, how long is delivery? 40 minutes. Okay, pickup. <laughs> Thank you, bye. Now while everyone was sprinting trying to get to a pizza shop, I decided to use my brain, and I met this nice lady named Judy. Super crazy question, but we're racing right now to get a pizza. Is there any way you could take me to Pizza Hut right there? It's two minutes away. Okay. Let's do it, bro. Papa John's. Papa John's. Oh, Papa John's, yes. <laughs> Look at them running over there. <laughs> now while everyone else is sprinting to the pizza shop, and me and my good friend Judy are having a nice peaceful ride, this is a great time to subscribe. We are so close to a million subscribers, and without you guys, none of this would be possible. And comment the word Judy down below. Thank you so much. Pick up for Drew. Is that the cheese pizza? Pepperoni. Pepperoni? We'll take it. You want your health and yes, right? Yeah. Okay. As I was running, I realized this probably wasn't my pizza. You know what's actually funny? He's I don't hungry. think this was actually my pizza. But I didn't care because I was determined to win this challenge. Then while me, Britt, and Carter were all running together, we decided to make a pack called the Pizza Boys. Even though Britt was a girl, she was still part of the boys. Pizza Boys! Pizza Boys! We ran over a mile to get back to the boat, and the second we got there, Topper ended up getting there the same time as us, and all four of us took off on the boat. That was brutal. 
That was a lot of running. Then after a long, peaceful boat ride, thinking that us pizza boys took this home for the win. You got back? There's no way. There's no way. No, it, it has to be a lie. It wasn't a lie. We lost. So now the winner got to pick one person and vote them out of the challenge. I'll pick James. Oh! And just like that, the pizza boys were back in the game. And that leads us to the fourth challenge. New day, new challenge. There's a simple game of hide and seek. The first two people I find are eliminated. You have one minute starting now. I knew the best strategy was to get as far away as possible from the person counting. Don't you dare touch my nipple, bro. I swear. I ain't gonna listen to you. Oh shit, I just ran through a big ass spider web. Right as I was trying to get my hiding spot, Nathan walked over by me. All I could think was, this is it. I just lost $25,000 while I'm laying in the sand. Now we were out here for almost two hours and we had no idea when the game was gonna end because we couldn't hear anybody else on the island. Oh, I see Carter. What are you guys doing? They're calling it. It's game? I think so. Just like that, we had won the hide and seek game. Who got out? Rip made it. Let's go. And we made it on to the next challenge. Congratulations, Woo! you are the final four. Our next round is uh, kind of fun. The challenge is simple. We have these four giant tubes. The first one to fall off is eliminated. This is open waters. We've already seen a shark and three stingrays. Cool. And uh, there's definitely some barracuda out there. So uh, oh my we are in Florida. I was literally hanging on for my life. And so was Carter. Carter was holding onto my tube, so every time he would hit a bump, I would hit it with him. Now I'm holding on for my life because I have $25,000 on the line, and I knew either me or Britt were gonna take this home. And before you knew it, I lost. Just like that, I went to the nut. But little did I know that there would be one more chance at redemption. It's actually a deserted island. Oh, I actually see people. Britt went on to win the sixth challenge. They were each given electric surfboards and had to find an orange buoy. And Britt was the first person to do this. And on top of that, she won $5,000. But back here at Loser Island, one of us was about to get back into the game. One of the losers is about to get back in the competition. We got a fun challenge for him. We were all lined up and ready to go. And I knew I had to win this challenge to get back into the game. The first one to get on my boat gets back in the video. But once they told us to go, half of us couldn't even hear him. Go! Go! Now because I got a late start, I knew I had to give it everything I had. They were sprinting. I think Poppins in the front. So I sprinted as fast as I could to the water, and before you knew it, I had caught up to Topper and Dustin. I was swimming as fast as I possibly could, and right before I was able to get onto the boat, Get on the boat! Yes, yeah, Topper! Oh now, as much as it sucked to lose $25,000 right there, Britt was still in the competition and I knew she could take this home for the win. And maybe it was good that I didn't get back in because Topper, who just won the elimination challenge, was eliminated. Again. Oh! That's the loser! Oh! <laughs> now, that leads us to the final challenge. Britt made it to the top two. The first person to catch a shark won the $25,000. They brought me and Lizzie back from the island to watch Britt and Carter compete. And I kid you not, five minutes into this, Britt hooks a shark. A massive shark. She is reeling for over 10 minutes and I am screaming and yelling for her to pull this thing into the boat. Come on! Oh my Come God! On, Carter, oh, let's go, baby! Then right as Britt is about to pull this shark to the surface, Carter also hooks a shark. They are neck and neck. And just like that, Carter won the $25,000. But overall, this was one of the craziest weeks of my life. And thank you so much to Unspeakable for bringing me and Britt out to survive on an island. So with that being said, like, subscribe, and comment Judy down below. Because she was the real hero here.